So guys, today it is official package day. We just picked up our first package from Amazon and then we're gonna go pick up the next one with a lot of parts from Summit Racing. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, as you saw in the thumbnail, we're gonna look at some new parts that your boy got, man. We got new parts, yo. I also got a how-to book on how to rebuild the engine and also got a like overall a restoration book on the Firebird, which are pretty cool. I might, I might throw a picture in or something so you guys can see it. Otherwise, you can see it on my Instagram. Don't forget to follow my Instagram. We are pretty close to 8,000 followers and it's just exploding, you know. So go over there and join the madness, you feel me? So today, we're gonna take a look at some new parts. It's not this. I know this is the exciting stuff. I know you guys wanna see engine, you wanna see high rev, 8,000 RPM, V8 and shit, but I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, you're gonna have to wait for that because honestly, I, I'm gonna have to get all the parts you know together and stuff And then when I have all the parts, which is probably gonna be in a few months or so It's gonna take some time. We talk like four to five thousand dollars here Then we're gonna bring the block to the machine shop where we then gonna get everything balanced to the block We are talking uh, getting the pistons balanced like the rods balanced uh, the crank balanced uh, for every, you know everything it uh, done right you know like lift this uh, using the right grease god damn it you know everything gotta be on point especially when we're building an engine that are gonna rev so damn high but uh, yeah enough of the engine because this video is about parts so i'm gonna try to put the camera here then we're gonna take each part and like show you guys and see what you you think you know and what i don't know i'm just gonna show the parts let's go so these parts are suspension parts and then one other thing. So as you guys probably remember, we tried to re uh, like repaint the distributor over there a few weeks ago. Here it is, the new cap, including the little cap underneath. So that's gonna be really nice. Uh, this is a pretty nice product and everything. It's nice quality. ST Street Fire. This is the cap and rotor. And you know, it's just nice, you know, new hardware and all. So first of all, we got uh, the B. First of all, we got a BMR, uh, you know, hardware for the frame when we're gonna mount the frame up. Uh, by the way, update on the paint on the frame which is gonna come soon so we can finish the suspension on the car, put everything back on the car. That's probably gonna be another week of waiting for this epoxy uh, paint. But uh, then we're gonna get it painted, then we're gonna uh, mount the control arms, the springs, the adjustable racing shocks, every damn thing. So this is what we got right here. Some awesome brass metal uh, hardware. I mean, we're talking quality, nice, Nice hardware, you feel me? Now this is the, the hardware for the control arms, upper and lower. Now, I was not quite sure because in the picture they didn't show how much hardware came in the box. So I had to order two, so it ripped 50 bucks there, I guess. I don't know, I mean, damn. <laughs> Next item is uh, from Proforce right here, uh, which actually has a few, have a few awesome products for the Firebird. Uh, not anything, you know, particular anything, but uh, you know, we got a few cool things. But first, I just want to show you guys something else. Uh, we got some hardware here. Uh, two nuts. And then we got, look at this, look at this. If I can get this out. QA1 adjustable tie rod sleeves. Do you, do you see this, eh? That's freaking awesome, this machine piece right here. Uh, very nice quality. Pretty expensive, but it's gonna be so much easier and awesome to like, you know, adjust uh, my suspension or whatever, or steering it, it's gonna be. Now that's not from Proforce, uh, I just had it in the same box, okay? Don't hate, don't hate. I'm not a professional unbox YouTuber, you me? This is what we got from Proforce, uh, which are, you know, the outer tie rod or whatever. And uh, again, nice quality, we got the castle knot included, also we have a cutter pin, uh, nice clean frets and stuff. Now here comes a little bit actually for the engine, but uh, it's not anything big. But uh, here it is, core plugs in brass metal. These things are hella nice. Now the silver one here is uh, the back plate or whatever for the cam, I'm pretty sure. And then we also have all these uh, small uh, screw-in plugs and stuff for like the, the oil galleys and stuff, I think. Uh, so that's pretty nice, uh, real nice quality. Gonna get the machine shop to install them probably, I don't know. Or maybe I'm gonna do it myself, I don't, I don't know. No body roll, no understeering. Here we come, race car pro touring. Energy suspension made in America. Oh yeah, boy. Hyperflex performance, polyurethane, man. So basically, this is, I would say, one of the coolest parts that we got in this box, because it's just cool. We got amazing 
We got a amazing rubber right here with, uh, you know, they're pretty damn hard, so we're not gonna have a lot of flexibility. And then they are, th then they have like this metal, uh, metal uh, ring or whatever inside, so we, they, they keep the structure, if you know what I mean. Where if you see an old bushing, it's just uh, rubber all through, you know, and that's pretty shit. Uh, a lot of nice hardware too, again, in brass, metal, you know, sink or whatever. And that's that's just just gonna look absolutely dope on the, the on the carriage of this car. This whole suspension deal is just gonna be all nice and gold, you know. So that's really awesome. A lot of awesome pieces in here. Guess who just got back today? It's them wild feminists who been away, out making protests about people being gay. Hell yeah, what a day! The next thing, my boy. Chassis select. select Now to be clear this is not like the most expensive uh, pieces and stuff I didn't go all in and like everything have to be QA1 suspension or uh, I don't know street banded or, or Detroit speed or something I just took what was the nicest quality for the money So here we have a very nice end link nothing special or anything, but it's a good price It's quality nice rubber everything and hardware it might not look as cool as some of the other products But they're gonna save us money and then we can build the beast engine you know this is all budget guys all budget man 19 years old and on an internship salary we're doing this now the last thing we got here are literally nascar parts nascar performance so that basically means our car gonna be like a nascar when the box says so it's it's, it's gonna be a nascar now nascar it says it on the back <laughs> hell yeah dude so let's take a look right here let's take a look see so first, we have our beautiful castle knot and uh, our little cutter pin and this little nipple, as you would say, so you can grease up the inside of a, of this steering link or cutter pin or not cutter pin. What the hell am I talking about? I'm probably gonna go with mooks, mook, 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 mook. I have no idea how you pronounce it. I'm probably gonna go with those uh, steering uh, pieces in the future because they're just really nice. They just, you know, they step above the others, you know. Nice brass, brass metal uh, cap right here, so it doesn't rust. Nice piece, NASCAR. I said NASCAR. And then we also got the two books, which I'm just gonna throw in a quick picture of here right now. NASCAR meme review. So I'm not quite sure how long this video gonna turn out because a lot of talking and parts and stuff. But maybe it's also gonna be short because I'm gonna be an edited master and cut it down, you know. 